Taiwan has reported 15 new local cases, including eight infections linked to Kaohsiung's port cluster. Four cases could be traced to a hotel in Ilan, and three more were found at a free trade zone in Taoyuan. All the new infections are close contacts of people previously diagnosed. Over the past two days, domestic spread has shown signs of slowing down. But the CCC says it's not letting down its guard and is still taking every outbreak seriously. Although we should all be glad that case numbers are lower, we're not yet out of danger. Taiwan reported 15 local COVID infections on Monday. Eight were in connection to a cluster at Kaohsiung Port. There are three port workers, two contractors, a mother and son working at a nearby shop, and a relative of a previously diagnosed port worker. We think there may be more infected people aboard the Xinguang. That might be where the first wave of infections originated. The second wave may have affected areas for ship maintenance and shipbuilding. We're expanding screening in the community outside of the so-called red zone. On Sunday, an employee at the Evergreen Resort Hotel in Ilan's Jiaoxi Township tested positive for COVID. Four other employees were confirmed positive on Monday. Among the four cases added, one is the girlfriend of the case announced yesterday, and the other three are his colleagues. There are two possibilities. One is that they were infected by relatives or friends, people they meet regularly. The second is that the virus was brought by a traveler from elsewhere. After all, they are service workers who are in direct contact with customers. Their relatives and contacts have all tested negative. Of course, there are many who are now in self-health management. We will wait for more results to come out before making further assessments. If they all test negative, then the cluster must have a different source. Over in Taoyuan, three local cases were confirmed. One was in connection to the Union Bank cluster, while two were from the COVID-hit ASCII Computer Corporation. A CECC official warned that more cases will come from Taoyuan the following day. Tomorrow, a second round of tests will be conducted at the Free Trade Zone's value-added park. I believe that many people will be diagnosed. Tomorrow, we will require on-site testing for all park employees who are not already in quarantine. People who worked at the Free Trade Zone's worst-hit companies, ASCII and Ingraces Technology, prior to January 10th should come forward for testing as soon as possible. For instance, this includes customs brokers, freight forwarders and logistics fleets. The Taoyuan city government and the CECC are urging people to come forward for testing so that hidden chains of transmission can be uncovered.